So what do you think it is about collecting sneakers that has drawn you in and kept you so, you know, interested in for so long? Well, like I said, I think for me initially, I mean, in our culture, hip-hop culture, our footwear says a lot of, about us and our style. A lot of us style ourselves from the feet up. You know, so your sneakers, whatever sneakers you're wearing that day, whatever you're wearing on your feet that day, will probably dictate the rest of your wardrobe. You know, shoes first. Everything else comes afterward. Um, so, in hip hop, you always had to have whatever the freshest, newest sneakers were. That's just kind of like a standard. It's been a standard since I can since I can remember. Um, moving past that, um, I couldn't afford to collect sneakers when I was younger, and moms really couldn't afford to buy like Jordans and things like that. I remember in seventh grade, me, my homie Tommy, and my man Jose. Jose was the only one whose mom would buy him some Jordans. So we had one pair of Jordans to share between the three of us. Like we going to the mall on Friday. All right, you get to wear, wear Jordans today. We going to the movies tomorrow or later on tonight. So I get to wear Jordans to the movies. So I think I think part of that desire to be fresh but not being able to, to afford it kind of builds up that desire and that hunger a little bit. You know, so when you can't afford it, when I, when I could have finally afforded it, I went a little nuts. You know, like, you used to go to transit over on Broadway and on 3rd in the village and literally just buy, every, like, one of everything. Like, walk into the store and just be like, I need that, 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 that. Actually, just give me this whole walk in a ten and a half. They didn't think I was joking. The first, like, the first time they thought I was joking. By the second or third time, they were like, okay, this thing I buy is everything. Um, you know, definitely went overboard with it. I think, I, I definitely think that part of it was just that trying to uh, trying to relive not necessarily relive but it was like one of those things where because moms not, moms couldn't afford it now I can so I'm going to buy everything and I feel like a lot of people when they get a little bit of money kind of go through that same period where all those things they couldn't afford when they were young that they always wanted they kind of yeah. go out and do um, so mine was definitely just going out and buying out the sneaker stores like on a weekly basis Leave, leave New York, go to Undefeated, and they would have like 30 pairs on a hold for me for the past month. They go pick all those up, have the big bag, ship back home, head to Tokyo, run around Shibuya all day, come back with like another 40 pairs of sneakers. I mean, it was really bad. 